Hello guys, welcome to the best to do list application tutorial. Today the topic is migrations and associations. In our previous video we did authentication with JSON Web Token. So to start, you should I think you should cl uh, click the like button so we can continue because this video is going to be very interesting. Let's go to this code. In order to explain this video better, I decided to come up with the mock-up of how we're going to design our page. So when a user is already when a user is already signed in, see he has this uh, avatar there. So um, this is our to dos. Each this block represents a to do, and a to do should have a to do title. This is a to do title. This is it. All the thing we need to have in our to do us, not to do title, in our to do table. So we only have the title. So each to do it, it is associated with a to do item. So when you have your to do title or your to do, you can add an item to it. So these are to do items. So according to this, it says a to do can have more than two, three, or four to do items, as many as possible. But each to do item can only belong to one to do. So you can also delete your to do, add items to the to do, and that's it. Or create a new to do. So, in case, click the like button. And if you've not done it already, and if you're not subscribed, then you just click the red button and subscribe too. Thanks very much. But this is where we ended in the last video. Let's start by creating our migrations. Then we can do the associations. So we do sequelize model generate name of the model. Let's call it to do and uh, attribute. We have a um, title of string and um, user ID. Of integer so that's all you see that migration has been created automatically for you automatically for us so let's do the next migration do model name of the to do item We have a uh, text. Let me just call it. Yeah, text. It's okay. It's okay to have text. String and to do ID of integer. So that's it. Oh, we forgot one thing. The is completed. It's completed the boolean attribute. Let's add it there. It's completed. Type. So this is all. Now we need to refactor our code to. Let me add that. So let's refactor our code to ES6. So let's start by giving our migrations to the user stable and to we usually give migrations in the usually I mean associations, sorry, we usually add associations in our models files. So we have um, the user association, the user model, the user has main models that um, to do as many to do's with as many to do's as to do's with foreign key with foreign
security of the user ID. The next must go to the to do and also do its association to do belongs to many models and it belongs to one user model as so what are we going to can you guess what we're going to give here What to do will belong to belongs to user. Okay, this is it. As user. So one to do belongs to one user as user with foreign key of user ID. So that is it. So if other this man's association now let's associate to do with the to do item we have as many Dot to do item. So to do as many to do items as to do items which with foreign kill to do ID. This is all about this guy. Let's go to this other man. We have uh, to do item that we long to do as to do. So this this is all on the associations. So let's revise it and start with the user. So the user has can have many to do to do's. So user has many to do's as to do's. Are you getting the flow? The user has many to do as to do's with foreign keys of user ID. Meaning this foreign key is going to be on the to do tape. So that's it. Then. Each to do belong to one user as a user and with the foreign key of user ID. So that's just the first something. Same thing for this other guy. To do belongs to many to do items and with I with uh, as to do items, foreign key to do ID and to do items belong to I mean, to do has many to do items. Well, to do items belong to to do as to do for a key of to do item to do ID. So let's go to uh, migrations. Let me first of all fix the errors. So to let's assign some attributes to this foreign key. So we have references. References model. The to do references the uh, user ID references the user stable. This time it should be plural, plural with key of ID. So this user ID references the user stable and where the where we have the key of user ID. And this guy should not be false. So we have allow no, it should not be no false so this is it let's go to this other guy first of all fix the errors yes lint errors so we have to do ID to 
the right here references model to do it let's now run our migrations let's create the migrations so we do sql is db migrate just db migrate so we were able to create the migrations so these are the new migrations that we added we have it to do and to do items so this is it so everything is working our migration so i created let's call this the end of this video all right so guys thank you for watching my video thanks again in case you like the video please like share and subscribe if you're still new to this channel and see you in the next video